All right, guys, let's see if we can rock through this one. This one's the Y to Delta configuration. Uh, we're doing the lower voltage, so we need a Delta with a parallel connection of our windings. So you see that I've got the Y exactly the same as the previous video. So primary is staying the same, but now our secondary is a Delta. Let's see if we can make a somewhat clean diagram here. Beauty. So here we've got uh, X1, X2. We said that X1 and X3 have the same instantaneous polarity. We'll put our other windings over here, X3 and X4. And then finally, X1, X2, uh, X3 and X4. Beautiful. This one right here is going to feed line one. You see the pace is picked up because we've done so many of these guys. This guy is then going to feed line two. And this guy is going to feed line three. Beautiful. We have a delta, so we know that V line is equal to V phase. Okay, so we've got 120 volts on the primary, right? That's because we have line voltage of 28, phase voltage of 120, right? The phase voltage on the Y is root 3 less than the line voltage. Uh, so that 120 then is going to transfer over to this guy, right? There's 1, 2, and 3 for our secondary windings. Again, those guys are corresponding to these single transformers right here. And with these guys, the ratio of our windings from this primary to this secondary actually ends up being root 3 as well. So we have 1.73 as times as many uh, turns on the primary than we do on the secondary. So that means that our secondary voltage is going to be 69 volts, as we saw in the previous videos. Okay. That means that this voltage right here is 69, this is 69, this is 69, everything is 69. Okay, that is our phase voltage. Okay, and we know that on a delta, that if we take our fingers and go from here to here, we're not going through any windings, any components, so this voltage on the phase is exactly the same as the voltage on the line. So this one is really funky. This one is giving us 69 volts uh, out as, I, as our line voltage there. Okay, so finishing off the, the diagram here, we've got a uh, parallel connection. So X1s and X3s are together. And again, now that we've done so many of these diagrams, you should be set for the test, give you any of these configurations and you should be able to do them. So first transformer, we have uh, X1 going to feed line one. So that's coming up here and feeding line one. Then we've got X4, so X4 is right here, tied into X2, but X4 is going to feed line two, so A to B, All right? Then this guy should be B to C. Let's confirm that. X1 is going to line two, so X1 is going to line two, and X4 is going to line three. Looks good. So A to B, B to C, and then C back to A, right? This guy is going to go to C, and this bad boy right here is going to go back to A. So X1 on the third transformer. So X1 on the third transformer is feeding line three, and X4 on the third transformer is feeding line one. Beautiful. Uh, looks like we have 69 volts on the inside, so that means we have 69 volts, three phase on the output there. So that means that any of these guys are going to be 69 volts. And again, those guys are both the phase and the line voltages there. Uh, on our delta, no neutral on the, the delta. So we have a, four, um, a three wire in, but we created a neutral there. That Again, that could have been a, uh, a four wire that we brought in, right? So it may have brought in that neutral there. Uh, and then on the secondary side, we have uh, a delta output there, and that's our low voltage. Highly unlikely you're going to see a Y to Delta configuration. Um, I have never seen one of those in my life, um, possibly for distribution purposes, but I haven't seen uh, any of those guys. Again, our bread and butter is the opposite of this, right? Being the Delta on the primary and the Y on the secondary there. Okay, we'll pause her there, or you pause her there, and then you can finish off your diagram. And then we're gonna rock through on the next one doing the high voltage connections. So next one, if we take a look here, so I've got identical wiring on the primary, right? Y primary is staying identical there. 
Uh, and now on the secondary, we're now going to do uh, the series connection here, right? So high voltage, again, we've said this many times so far, uh, is the series connection of these two windings here. And so we're going to connect those guys. Again, we're looking for the delta configuration. So creating a delta here. Okay. Uh, if you are doing this in the shop, then you are uh, double checking again before you close the delta that that open connection is going to be basically zero volts, right? So don't just close that connection. I mean, we you, in shop, you should be fairly confident now that on all your terminals, uh, but be careful on the last connection here. Make sure that it's open uh, and make sure that uh, you see very bit of a voltage. Okay, so the labels here are X1, X2, X3, and X4. X2, X3, and X4, right? So that X1, X4 connection one of those guys on one of the outer uh, points of the delta, either here or here or here, must be left open in order to take that voltage reading, right? I failed to mention that uh, over here, right? That this connection right here should be left open, take a voltage reading between these two points and make sure that you have uh, zero volts, you know, zero to 30 volts before you put a jumper between those guys. Okay, finishing off uh, this diagram here. So we'll close this guy up. So we're assuming that we've done that voltage test. Everything is cool. So we're good to close that guy up. And then this is going to feed line one. This corner right here is going to feed line two. And this guy is gonna feed line three. Okay, same voltage, right? We got 69 volts here. Okay, and that's just based on the ratio between one winding and the next, right? Between the primary and the secondary of the same transformer. Uh, and that means that we have 69 volts on each of these guys. And we've seen that in the series connection that we're gonna do the sum of those values, right? So uh, our output here, uh, let me see, we'll just put it uh, right here because we're not making use of the, the neutral. So our output here is gonna be 138 volts on the phase. And we know that for this guy, if we have a delta, then regardless if we have the series or the parallel connection, V line is it gonna equal to uh, V phase, right? So our phase voltage is 138, 69 plus 69. And if we go from these two outer points where we see that voltage, right? Then they go straight out to our line conductors. So we should have 138 volts on the line as well. Okay, so our voltage out here is going to be 138 volts, three phase, right? So we got two weight in, three phase, and we'd have 138 volts, three phase out. Okay, connections here for the final diagram on the bottom would be that two and three are jumpered together, creating that series connection. And for this guy again, we're doing A to B, right? So A, so A to B, B to C, and then C back to A, right? So X1 is gonna feed C, and this guy right here is gonna come back to A. Beautiful, okay? And then we can throw in our line, vo line voltage here, 138 volts across A to B, 138 volts from B to C, and 138 volts from A to C. Beautiful, okay? Take a look at this diagram here. It looks like we have X1 going to feed A. So X1 of the first transformer feeds A. X4 ties into the B phase, or B line, I guess. Uh, then on the second transformer, X1 feeds line two. So second transformer, sorry, right here. X1 feeds line two. X4 feeds line three, so X4 feeds line three. And finally, on a thir third transformer, X1 feeds line three. So X1 on the third transformer feeds line three. And finally, X4 ties into the first line there. Beautiful. 
All right, guys, so pace has increased because we have done so many of these diagrams. Hopefully that everything makes sense here. Unlikely that you're going to see one of these out in the field, uh, but good practice to go through all the different configurations. So there we've done the Y to Delta in both the low voltage and the high voltage connections. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.